the people who disparaged Martha Stewart's main house as bland are getting a lot of love in return. I rarely read all the comments that come in after I post, but this time, I read a lot because I was thrilled with how my main living room turned out, and I was shocked by how harshly so many people judged me, she posted on Instagram on Wednesday. The former anchor of Martha Stewart show first teased fans with a series of photos showing her three major living spaces, claiming that she and her workers had spent three hours moving out the old furniture and putting in the new pieces. The 82-year-old Stewart defended her design decisions and expressed her satisfaction with the final result, even though she did not hire a professional to help with the decorating. She added in her post, it was an attempt to change quickly and efficiently. It takes far more than three hours to transform a room into a lovely, usable place or a house into a home. There will undoubtedly be color, plants, mirrors, a few new rugs, as well as other artwork and items. Keep checking back. While revealing the renovated living room's appearance on Instagram, Stewart also spoke about the Hamptons house on Lily Pond Lane that she had previously owned but had to sell in 2021. She informed supporters, We changed the living room's upholstery from gray-blue to a creamy, pale buttery yellow, all the yellow came from Lily Pond Lane which I sold two years ago. I love the rustic yet elegant charm of this lovely 1925 house. The faux bois table is now the card table, and the library is much more comfortable. The images displayed a single, lengthy living room with beige furniture and brown hardwood walls from various perspectives. A beige leather sofa faced two cream chairs in the middle of the large living room, and in front of the two seating places was a black bench with a black coffee table. A cream-colored wall with a brown wooden topping and a fireplace in the middle was one side of the wall. She adorned the wall with multiple sketches of birds, each displayed in a black frame. The big living room had several wide windows to bring in light and views of her expansive green yard, and there were two more comparable configurations. Similar furniture color schemes with additional light gray wooden pieces and tall plants were seen in a second living area. With two cream couches, matching chairs, a brown coffee table, and a dark brown desk, the third room looked similar to the other two. Reactions to the designs were swiftly varied, with some applauding Stewart's vintage aesthetic and others likening it to a furniture showroom. It doesn't appear cozy and welcoming appears less like a house and more like a furniture showroom. Sad to see, a commenter said. I detest to say it, but I must. There doesn't appear to be a single cozy chair. The hues are really muted. Looks more like the foyer of a really manly men's club than it does like a house. Another individual said, I guess if you're happy with it, that's all that matters. Yo. Someone said, it looks like a living room from a Marriott suite in 1987. Not the best of your works. Someone said, it feels empty, like there's no soul left inside. At Martha Stewart 48, OMG I've really missed your parts on interior design. Yes, yes, yes to everything, an admirer commented. What a stunning and ancient house. A treasure, a second guy said. Magnificent. The buttery yellow gives the space a cheery, new appearance. Martha, you look so nice. You'll love it, I'm sure, a fan said.